All right, howdy folks, and welcome to the Lifestyle Overland channel. I'm Kevin, and usually it's myself, my wife Sarah, and daughter Caroline traveling across North America, experiencing some pretty cool places. But in this video, this is actually gonna be a walkthrough of our good friends, Team Hunt Adventures Jeep Gladiator build. Now, if you've been following along, we just finished up one amazing adventure in Northern Utah. And on that trip, we took a few minutes to take a look at this impressive build that this family has put together. And we want to share that with you today. And more important than the walk around itself is the reason for the build. The Team Hunt Adventure family built this gladiator to bring awareness and support to others who are affected by disease or disability after their son Hunt was diagnosed with a rare mitochondrial disease. Since they began their organization, they've raised over $500,000 for various organizations across North America. So after the video is over, please head to teamhunt.org to learn more about how you can help support their incredible cause. All right, without further ado, let's go check out the Jeep. All right, well, good morning, folks. Yet another incredible night on the edge of this epic view. Before we get on the trail this morning, I wanna check in with Mike and Ellen and just get a quick overview of this mind-blowing build that we've got back here behind us. All right, guys, how'd y'all sleep last night? Good. Pretty yeah. good. Yeah. yeah, we didn't have to turn a heater on. It was super nice. <laughs> a little was blast a... of wind. And oh, yeah. Wind was amazing. A little bit of a bear scare. Thought we had a bear scare. It turned yeah. out just to be the other guy in the camp. That's it was okay. just Tim. <laughs> just, <laughs> just Tim Tyler. Tim just the Tim. bear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, can you give me just a, a quick walk around what we got going on yeah. on this beautiful beast behind you here? Well, it's home 40-ish mm -hmm. days a year. It's purpose built for our family mm -hmm. and our son, which Ella can speak to, has special needs and a, a rare disease that um, is what kind of got us into nature. But it started with the, the fridge in the back seat. So he's got meds that he has to take. So that's the nucleus of actually the build okay. is just making sure that that, um, that guy right there stays cold. Gotcha. We can, uh, everything else can go hot, but that can't. Uh, but um, that's kind of where it started. And then everything else we kind of built off of that. This is uh, Mike and Hunt's closet. So we try to be real organized in different cubes. Uh -huh. So we can pull them out easily, all organized. And this is nice because we can travel with this in the suitcase ah. uh, and then easily put it back into the cube. Uh, we have a place for hats, which are necessary when you don't shower for <laughs> four days in a row like now. I think we're going on four days, four yeah. or five days. That happens. Um, always have to have toiletries and wipes close uh -huh. in case yep. of emergency. And then this is our dirty laundry nice. that we can pull out when we get somewhere to do laundry. Paul's getting bigger. <laughs> Paul's getting bigger. <laughs> and then underneath, we have another kind of hidden compartment, or more storage underneath. And then we keep all of our camping shoes here in the back so uh -huh. we can easily pull those out at night. Sweet, wow. <laughs> That's and awesome. And then we also have hangers over here that we can hang our wow. backpacks for hiking. You've maximized and every square inch in this thing. Mike's also put some uh, Velcro so we can Velcro things to the sides. Sweet. This is our water source. Uh -huh. So we can have water for drinking, washing dishes, um, an ax for <laughs> cutting firewood and Paul those sorts Bunyan. of things. <laughs> um, I'll pull this down for a second. This is the shower cube, which we have not used yet, but it pops out so you can shower. Use it more than also use this. Sure, sure, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. So how much water is on board? How much water do we have? About 20 gallons. Oh, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. So these are little pockets for hats or anything that you need at camp. Uh -huh. uh, Mike rigged this. That pops up the value cab, but it comes down so that this is our other part of our closet and all of our toiletries. So the rest of Hunt's medicines here, toothbrushes, toothpaste, a little mirror for brushing teeth. <laughs> and these are my packing cubes and some of Hunt's too. So again, this can easily come out. You can pack it when you're traveling. Right. You can just put it in the Jeep when we get here. So, so that's helpful. That, that whole system, so prop to map, that's all a Blue Ridge Overland gear. Uh -huh. This um, this whole thing pops out. Whoa. So when we, when we travel, all you gotta do is, and, and we didn't like, purpose built around that it just it came that way so That's we lucked up the bags just make it so easy oh, yeah. so helpful yeah. so we always keep bug spray clothes uh -huh. uh, wilderness wipes is what we use for our showers yep um you know all the medicines and things that we need just in case uh -huh. but definitely hunts medicine always at the ready right there awesome and then this just holds up very nice so this is for firewood kerosene, 
what else do you put in here? Trash sometimes if we have trash that we take with us. Yeah, mostly it's just the, the fuel storage stuff. So this stuff. garbage All bags. The, yeah, this is the, the propane that we probably need to refill mm -hmm. the next day or so. Yep. But um, all the stuff that you don't want in the cab or in the camper. That's it. I love it. Drawer, so this uh -huh. drawer folds up. This is where we keep mostly camping gear, tools, ropes, pull straps, towing equipment, all that stuff. Nice. Kind of fits, tables. Fits all snug in there. Yeah, those are little side tables. Um, but we also wanted to have, uh, be able to, to carry mountain bikes. Mm -hmm. So we only got one rack on there now, but there's up to two that'll fit and it's all attached to the frame. So they engineered it great. We haven't had an ounce of uh, issues with it. It's been awesome. Well, that road we were on yesterday would have tested that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we made it. Exactly. Yeah. We got a little bit of a back massage with all those bones. <laughs> it's all good though. So this uh, goose gear container fits right up in the cab when we're traveling, but it right. works well for short people like us um, to use as a step, mm -hmm. to step up but it is also our pantry basically so we can keep um bars food olive oil pan peanut butter granola everything that we need in here that does not have to be in the refrigerator gotcha. it works as our pantry i like in that box is that it's amazing yeah, yeah. olive box is awesome nice we feel like this is essential when you say yo 100 for lots of reasons nice yeah. um also super helpful and awesome is our little mats so no shoes or of course it has some dirt on it right now but when you take your shoes off at night and step up, yeah. um, just to keep it clean inside. Oh, yeah. A little rug is a, is a huge addition to any yeah. campsite. Super helpful, also our rug here. Then this is our heater that was just installed recently. Sweet. Um, we have these little pockets that we keep, you know, things that we need. Here's all of our lights and plugins. This is a new addition that has all of our camping lights, toilet paper, also necessary to keep <laughs> close at hand. Yep, yep. Um, you know, all kinds of tape and things for emergencies. Um, so we have the, also the fridge, which is helpful. And right on top is a little sink for washing. So usually use that if it's super cold outside or bad weather. We cook like backpacking mm -hmm. meals. Yeah. Because it also, it, it'll, it'll linger. The smell will. all of this is cloth. Right. Mm, you know, it'll stick with you. Yeah, for sure. Well, we've done coffee in bad weather. The, the good thing, this was Brian's from Goose Gear's idea, is you can, uh, there yeah. you go. Dude, I think we were in the Ozarks and uh, it was terrible weather. And uh, we made breakfast in here. Yeah, especially if you just do this little mountain house thing. Yeah, exactly. Definitely not cooking broccoli in here. No. No. <laughs> No, or not. you'll be driving down the highway with this open. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Why is he doing that? Oh, he made broccoli. Oh. No. And we've had amazing weather, but in case of bad weather, we've got Uno and a whiteboard for hunt um, and things to do inside the camp. Perfect. Then the, our uh, that pops down, and that's our bed. So our phones have a space. You don't lose them in the. A lot of times we'll lose them in the oh, bed at yeah. night. So we got these on both sides. Slick. Um, this at the very top is where we'll put at night, like our PJs, the change into, or our hats, um, warm weather jackets, mm -hmm. so that they're super close and ready. Yeah. If you want to crawl up there, you can I see all that. I can't believe how much storage you guys have. I mean, that's every love the pocket storage. Yeah, every square inch. Yes. Yeah, was... So I just want to point out that I can stand up comfortably in here. That's yeah, it's... that's handy. This is like hangout spot when it's nasty. Oh no, no man, that's Uno Central. Oh my gosh, awesome. Can I flip the bed down? Yeah, there's a uh, right here. See, see that little thing on the yeah, exactly. Yeah, like this when you're stuffing that. So how tall a person you think can sleep in there? It's a king size length. What? Now you, you probably could only have like a size five shoe to go good. <laughs> oh, it goes down. oh yeah i hear you this is plush man oh check it out old school lifestyle overland shirt i told you pjs yeah sweet <laughs> pjs man oh we're gonna hook you up something fresh here in a minute all right so i had to test this just touching six foot three and so i have to modify this just a little bit but i like it Awesome. So yeah, coming this way, we've got, um, this is our coffee and essential morning beverages. Mm -hmm. um, all of our, 
you know, tongs and cooking utensils, scissors, anything that you need for cooking in this drawer, measuring cups. Also nice. another space for your coffee oh, mug you if you need it. You can't have enough of those, can you? The front runner packet that rolls out and uh -huh. we attach it here. But it does roll up and fit right here with our stove, our cooking oven. Mm -hmm. Then this is the rest of what you need for cooking. So we've got, you know, lighters, Ziploc bags, spices, all of our cooking pots and pans. About 14 koozies. You never have enough koozies. <laughs> so everything that we need basically fits right here. Wow. Into all the different bowls. They're just, yeah, I'm blown away. I'm blown away by how much storage is in this thing. And then our bar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then we've got all the adult nighttime beverages uh -huh. um, and all the cups for that. Sweet. And just in case. And then oh, yeah. our water gauge. Emergency flask. Yeah. yeah, this is where we fill, but this is, we're close to empty. I think we probably got, it's showing empty, empty, but we probably got about two gallons left. Gotcha. Um, but this panel comes off, so these little quick release things come out and oh, pull the panel out nice. if you ever have to do any kind of maintenance or anything oh, like, which man. is cool. Having stuff to be serviceable is so important oh, on these builds. And probably one of the more important features is up here, right? Oh yeah, so Hunt, you know, loves to get, you know, souvenirs, but instead we try not to get a lot of souvenirs for space reasons. So mm -hmm. places we go, we get stickers or patches. So this side's almost full, but then the, the rooftop of the Jeep has tons of patches as well. Oh man. This is the command central. This is Hunt's <laughs> cockpit. Nice. So he's got his little lunch box. So he has snacks when he's ready. RC trucks and chargers necessary for camp, his blanket, all of his maps, which are his favorites. Mm -hmm. Of course, fit some of our favorite friends like <laughs> oh, Epic hey, Family hey, and Lifestyle nice. Overland, <laughs> Expedition <laughs> Overland. Cool. Um, and then he has little pockets where he can put things. There's his binoculars. Oh, gotta have those. Um, his sunglasses. Wow. And then his books. That he loves to take and then what's not seen right there is over here he's allowed to bring one container of toys so whatever fits in this one container that fits at his feet he's allowed so we'll show you what he nice. decided to bring yeah, so yeah. all his favorites monster so you know truck. of course we've got to have you know all the trucks mm -hmm. and the monster trucks and the airplanes well, I was really impressed with the RC cars too. Oh yeah, yeah of course. Awesome. The RC cars are lots of fun. Yeah, I, I'm jealous. I want some of those now. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is this is what I was telling you. The, uh, this is the battery footprint. So it's that big. Oh, and that will last amazing. at least 30, 45 minutes of yeah. <laughs> entertainment value at camp. It's huge. Oh, that's it's huge. That's it's, gold right it's there. It's huge. Yeah, I got some footage of him and Caroline. Yeah, they had a good time with that yeah. at camp. Yeah. yeah. yeah today so what what all have you done so like i know there's a lot to cover so just real quick what's under the hood because this does not sound like a regular jeep no it's not. this was originally a 2020 rubicon gladiator mm -hmm. uh, and has morphed into a little bit more than that so now there's a hemi <laughs> under the roof <laughs> and, awesome. and this is kind of a a house that that terraflex built mm -hmm. so We've got new axles, new shock system, long arms in the back. Now we have about 36 gallons of fuel capacity, which has been a game changer. Mm -hmm. When we didn't have that, I think our fuel range was like 86 miles or something crazy, so you couldn't do a lot. But no, it's great. Um, we had a, a great build partner in Just For Fun Motorsports uh, south of Salt Lake that did a great job. But awesome. It was uh, it's purpose built for our family. Yeah, we obviously got a lot of electronics here. We got and as Paul is running a lot of different lights, but also the, the medicine fridge in the back. And then we've got a, um, a WeBoo system because mm -hmm. we do work on the road when we're, we're traveling down. So a lot of that's kind of under the hood loaded uh, electronics that are here. But uh, there's actually a bunch of room in the Gladiator. I didn't, I was worried we we're gonna have to spray Pam on the engine to get it in. I was but gonna say, most, most Jeep uh, engine bays are, you know, every Super square inch tight. is packed. And this yeah. is, this looks more like a, a Chevy engine bay. I know, I know. <laughs> So no, and Charlie and the guys at Just for Fun did a great job on the build, and yeah. we haven't had an ounce of problem um, with it. And it is, especially like at an elevation like we are right now, I can be fully loaded, fully wet, so water, fuel, food, clothes, 
everything and um it doesn't skip a beat mm. which is a big difference from when we we rolled off the lot i remember the first out. time you took it out you're like oh, i need to do something <laughs> oh yeah yeah it was like uh uphill headwinds everything that we ever did yeah. especially elevation it was tough but now it's it's dialed in awesome. it's doing awesome yeah. awesome yeah it used to be the only thing that we've had to really edit is this used to be his bed and all the switches, most of the switches were on that far wall. And as he grew, um, occasionally he would turn them off. Mm -hmm. uh, not meaning to, he would kick them at night. And so we've woken up having no heat and no fridge on because he's stretching. <laughs> so we which had is a to, blessing. Which is a blessing, it's a blessing. Yeah. So we had to move some stuff around just uh, for easeability for him. But these, these, these uh, pieces of wood right here, this is part of a frame so his bed now at night, we pull out a, a piece that fits perfectly right there, and he sleeps this way. Um, oh, and yeah. has plenty of room at night, which is, cushions around. which is super nice. That's awesome. But, yeah. And he has slept much better. Awesome. Oh, so much better. So. Okay, so when you're ready for to brush your teeth, yeah. you, know, you just pull this out on this handy little table. Well, and you've even got cover. So you got cover. Drizzly. Yep. That's what I like about those. Me too. So then when you're done with this, just folds up. Oh, We're a little dirty. You know this way. And then Mike can fit it. Uh, and then that's how we do that, that table too. Stuff. And this little guy. What keeps in that little quick, quick wow. release? Easy enough. Ready to roll. So this is my space. And you know, I always have you know what I need, like my hat at the ready. Um, Mike has actually cleared this out so I can have my like toiletries and my little makeup bag. I get this wow. whole space. It's pretty awesome for any You're women so who lucky. feels the need to need that. He also added this little space right here. If we ever get the chance, you know, to stop in an Eno you know, and read, uh -huh. always keep the same hand sanitizing wipes. Mm -hmm. But if you look to the left of my chair, Mike made me a purse pocket. What? So <laughs> exactly, Sarah. Thank you. Are you causing me more work? <laughs> no. I'm... It drives him crazy when I keep stuff at my feet and we're overlanding because oh, yeah. it is, jiggles. Me, can I show you what happens on the road? This is what happens on the road. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thousand percent. What? I, my hands are clear. What? What about the purse? What? And then the purse. That you yeah. I was going to say. I usually, lots of room down there. But see, I have a snack bag. <laughs> you got to have a snack purse. bag. Yeah. Well, because yeah. you keep you the snacks in the purse. purse. See, I don't. So she'll okay. be like, no, I'm comfortable. Because I want two different <laughs> yeah. things. I don't want to take the snack bag into the right. gas station. So I don't I have right. my purse. It's just I a different snack I'm bag. okay going for the next four hours off grid like this. This yes. is fine. Yeah. With a shoe, in, a your shoe face. in my Okay, face. so the solution. It's like she's ready to bail out at any time. Right. <laughs> right. If we right. see a target, I'm ready. <laughs> so, so this is like right now, babe, like right now. What? It looked organized to me. <laughs> It no. is. I just, there was extra room for the sunscreen. 14 gallons of sunscreen right there. Really? <laughs> He'll want it later today. Watch. Yeah. You're yeah. like, hey, babe, where's that sunscreen? Yeah, y'all are headed for it, so. And I'm putting it, I'm putting it right here. Because the console, your job, brother. Okay, maybe it's easier to see from the other side. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's perfect. So the purse pocket, yeah. you just pull it out. It's um, right behind me. Yeah. Maybe TMI, but... Feminine uh, products always yeah. necessary to have just in case. Yep, yep. Extra okay. pockets. And then we've got all of our S Pod, our iPad for mm -hmm. maps, um, our inReach Garmin, which is super helpful. Yep. Um, and we all have spaces for our phones. <laughs> all right, will you help me eyeball the tent stuff? Yep. That about wraps up this walk around. Hope you enjoyed it. This is new for our channel, so if you like the walk around stuff, let us know in the comments below if there's ways that we can improve it. We're open to that as well. Fair warning, this video wasn't filmed to be a walk around. It was just 
them showing us the things that they love most about their Jeep. So sometimes it's not as technical as a lot of people might enjoy, but we do have a build sheet with a complete list of all the components that went into this incredible Gladiator. So check the link in the description for more information. Until next time, stay curious and remember, leave it better than you found it. We'll see you on the next one.